here we are again. Fishing at Old Berg. This time with garlic dough. So, we're going to see if we can find any bream. Welcome back to this uh, leveling series on uh, YouTube here for Russian Fishing 4. Um, trying to think about what we want to do in terms of... We could go pearl barley. I think the only thing we can't get right now is... Um, Actually, no, pearl barley's off limits. I think we've been doing, what, crackers with... It seems to work fine. I might try one with semolina. I think we've done this before, haven't we? We're just going to do uh, five stacks. And then we go sunflower oil since anise is a higher level required. And uh, let's go get some fishing done here. All right. So we have some garlic dough now, although we do need to make some more. I'm thinking this is what the person was talking about. Somebody left a message on my video about a spot over in D4. It would either be here, possibly up here, or up into the 6-5 hole. There's just there's three different spots kind of in this square that are possible. All right, let's let's get some rods out there loaded up and garlic dough and um, I'm gonna clip for 25 right now this is a little bit of a big cast for where we are but one of the downsides of these spots over here at least in terms of being lower level I don't even check hook size or anything Let's go eight on this one. Usually I go eight with um, with bream, so that's what we'll do for now. All right, let's go ahead and clip this as well. We're going to clip them all at about 25, and then we'll adjust from there if we need to. See if a 90% cast gets that 25 meters. Yeah. Won't have quite as much bounce back. Now we could do a comparison with uh, pearl barley, I guess, but since we just unlocked garlic dough, let's just use the garlic dough right now. Let me just look at something real quick and we'll catch this fish. It's actually pulling a little bit. All right, let me go ahead and try to deal with this. Well, we may have uh, stumbled upon something decent here. I don't know. It's going to be interesting because we are reeling these in a long, long ways. But that does appear to be what we're after here, so that's a good sign. 
So one thing I want to do after seeing how long it took to get that in, that's a nice bream, 1200 experience. Uh, one thing I want to do here is go ahead and clip this to 20. Cut the distance down a little bit and see if that makes a difference. See if we still get a pretty quick bite. Six point one on the bottom fishing. So at this one, we'll keep at um, twenty-five meters until we confirm that twenty seems to be working as well. We can always hope that this is a white bream or something. I guess it's tiny. Okay. Well, I can't believe that we've gotten to the point where we can actually use garlic dough at Old Berg on this free-to-play account. That happened at level 15, and I feel like we were, not that we couldn't have done it more aggressively, but we were very mindful of leveling up bait crafting as we played, so... So if you notice that first line has not had a bite since we put it at 20 meters. And so that means that 25 might be the magic location. I don't know, I'll give it a little bit more time I guess, but. nothing on there so again we'll give it a few more seconds and then I'll probably put it back at uh, at 30 okay so let's do a couple things here garlic dough fail again right now we only have so much ingredients here okay now the other thing we can do is make some ground bait so I'm gonna do the one with semolina first and then we'll do some of our bream variant check our lines we are almost to that 15% on um, making ground bait which means we can use some different ingredients oops Let's see. What's on our lines here? Little guy. So 
So I believe that we've had two markers out of six fish. And so we'll see as we move forward in the night, into the overnight hours, if that does in fact increase. It typically does, but we'll see about, about this spot. So this spot very well may be good. The downside so far is, uh, the initial downside is just seeing how how long you are reeling in, which is not a deal breaker at all. It's just something you take into account in a bream spot is just how much time are you spending getting those fish in. All right, so on this line, I wanna try this, which is our semolina mix. And just see if there's still be bream biting on it. I think there will be. Common roach. And on this one... We'll go ahead and use a low quality bream mix, bream variant. This is one of our ones that um, has the crackers base instead of the semolina, but otherwise it's the same ingredients. So we're kind of comparing the second and third rod there. Let's go ahead and finish making this um, bream variant ground bait. have room for one more we are about to hit 15 if we don't screw up this okay 15.1 percent which if you're trying to figure out let's get this fish in and I'll show you how if you're trying to figure out what leveling up in ground bait when you hit a my um milestone like this what it means there's a real easy way to do that it also helps you what I'm about to show you also helps you know the best way to level from there it's another decent one here this will definitely be a marker you can see the distinct markings on the bream 1.58 so that's a good one all right let's put um, one of our nicer 7 out of 10 variants here All right, so real quick before we do that, if you go to uh, Making Ground Bait, this will show you what you've most recently unlocked. Obviously, we haven't gotten to third yet. We need to be to 30%. So we've got a long way to go here since we're only at 15, but we can now use Pearl Barley so we can make an even better bream mix. We can also use Feed, which I have heard it does pretty well with Tench. Wheat, cheese, and egg. Wheat and cheese there also, I would think, good with Tench. And then milky cream is an attractant, which I don't think I've ever tried. Um, so some new things to experiment with, 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 with ground bait. And as long as you have one of those ingredients, you're going to be sitting at a point where you'll be most likely to level up. So when I talk about it, it helps you know the best way to, uh, to level up. It's including at least one ingredient from the most, most recent set you've unlocked. But that pearl barley will be... Um, potentially be good because that's included in the natural bream mix which we know works really well so what I may do actually is go ahead and um, <clears throat> what do we have on right now I may go ahead and switch to the higher quality bream variant and let's try to use this up the high quality stuff We'll probably go ahead and trash the low quality stuff pretty soon and start making some bream mix with um, with pearl barley in it. If there was a way for me to rename it, I would do that. But I just don't think there is.
We could throw it in our house, I guess. Uh, or our storage, which on this map would be accessible from the tent. So that's an idea if we don't fully want to get rid of it in case we do just get low on silver and need to throw some ground bait in something. But you make so much ground bait when you're leveling it up that throwing some away is probably not the worst idea. What? I can't remember what level ground bait we had on that one. I know the middle one is the one with Semolina. So really, it's just not having a knee soil is the only thing that we can't make. It's the only reason why we can't make for real bream ground bait. So the roaches have in fact moved in. The roaches will die off here soon. There's another white bream. Now, is this coincidence? Or is this, in fact, because of the semolina? It's two in a row we've caught on this line. I think that milky cream would go well with bream. It might be okay. I don't know. Might be worth trying. But we might just stick with our sunflower oil or even try some. What's the other one that we can do from level one? Caramel. Let's make sure we are using up these 10 out of 10s here. All right, this is the semolina. Will it be three whites in a row? Or has our luck run out? Our luck has run out. Excuse me. My goodness. The other thing we could do instead of throwing away the ground bait, I guess, is just name the stuff different, a different name. I don't know. That's a roach. You know, I'm used to throwing into this spot from this when this spot used to be, but we could try throwing sort of in a different direction here just to see the bream may be all over this area. Let's try that. Got dark all of a sudden. I 
That appears to be a real deal bream if you ask me. Very nice. I'm gonna sort of split the difference here. Again, just sort of trying some different spots. And then we'll focus back on the same spot if, uh, if it seems like they're not as spread out. And we'll keep this one on this same spot that we've been throwing at. Okay, I'm gonna grab my uh, phone, which I left somewhere. I'll be right back. We have some fish on. All right, so this first one is the one that we kind of threw the farthest to the left. Yeah, it's pretty small. I don't know, maybe we should just keep kind of going towards that uh, uh, just left of the island over there. Seems like that's been the best spot for us. Need to watch these friction brakes not being up too high. So, man, a lot of silver fish here. Uh, <clears throat> the marker rate is not ideal, but it's not terrible either. You can sort of grind your way through it with that marker rate. Let's see as we get later in the night if it gets even juicier. Looks promising. Might be a, what, two and a half kilo? I don't know. I certainly have no idea what a trophy would feel like on this size leaders, but 
This seems like a pretty good one. Yeah, two and a half exactly. We called that, didn't we? I think a two and a half would feel like we're never going to get it in. But eventually we hopefully would, but it'd be tough. Because what do we have? I, I need to remind myself on our leader size. It's five something, right? That was barely a marker. I did not cast that sucker long enough. Yeah, 5.4, which a lot of times I fish for bream with 9.8 liters, which you can even feel trophies on 9.8 liters. Not that it's too tough, but. Um, and then I've done 6.5 a good bit as well. And trophy eyed, trophy bream are quite the experience on 6.5. So we're going to be sweating it on five, five something, you know. It's going to be not impossible, I don't think, but it's going to be an adventure if we can ever hook into one. I think this is the line that we just did not cast far enough. So I need to remember that middle line. So in the last couple of minutes here, really nice bite rate and uh, two out of the three bream were markers. So hopefully that will keep up. Hopefully that will keep up through the night. So at this point, level 15, I think we can start to dream about what's our next purchase going to be. And um, I think it will be a reel, and I think it will be a reel in the 7.5 range. Okay, now this is interesting. This is a good bream here, and this is the, the line that we didn't throw quite as far. Um... So there might be some room for 20 meter clips, at least this time of night when the biting is at its best. It'd be nice to get this in pretty quickly since it's not too big, but it's also a marker. So I hate to like unnecessarily lose it. This is sort of reeling it in that aggressively is more what I'm used to doing with bream fishing. If it's a trophy, you're a little more careful, I guess, but the bite rate in a good bream spot is usually so high and you are volume fishing. It's not that at a high level, one single, you know, or, or three or four bream aren't necessarily worth, um, worth that much. What it is is that you're getting a high volume of good you know, marker fish. And so because you're catching a bunch in a spot, at least a really good spot, um, tend to be pretty aggressive reeling them in, which means I tend to lose them every once in a while too. Uh, but you kind of accept that loss with the sort of speed of a good bream spot. Looks like middle line might have something on there. It's adjusting around for some reason. So how much garlic dough do we have left? 62 pieces, plenty to get us through this session. And I think just so that we can see what happens, I'm gonna keep using the garlic dough even into the late morning, maybe around noon or so. We'll see what time we're gonna stop this set, this video, but just to kind of see, we started early around what, 16, 1700, 
we've gone we're going now through sort of some of the hotter parts of bream fishing we're in that little bit of a lull right now you can kind of carve out a couple of in-game hours maybe between one and three where you see a little bit of a lull but then certainly by four we should be we should be going again it's going to feel good hopefully and then starting around seven or eight you start to think ah oh, we're is it dropping off a little bit and then all of a sudden at nine or ten it's like whoa so we, hopefully we'll be able to see all those stages it just depends on sort of the health of this spot and uh, what the bream are doing but uh, speaking of which i wanted to look at weeklies we'll look at overall weeklies on all regions on bream to see how many of them are still showing up on old berg so most of them are oh a cottage cheese dough shows up with a really big bream this um, pea porridge was used at Volkov yesterday. The rest of these are two days ago and then yesterday. So they are still pretty looking pretty good here at Old Berg, it looks like. Speaking of looking pretty good, that's another nice one. Oh, that's weird. Look how much it died off. I don't know. It's not as nice as I thought it was. Maybe not a bream. That is a trophy common roach. So our second free to play trophy <laughs> is a common roach, which this is the first account I've ever leveled. I think I can say this honestly. It's possible there's something I don't remember, but I think this is the first free to play, I'm sorry, the first account that I've leveled where a roach has not been my very first trophy. We got that Crucian last episode, but uh, this time we get the roach and that was exciting. I could just tell the way it went from crazy to nothing that that was no bream. But a trophy roach wasn't uh, wasn't what I was expecting. There's a nice one. So we've still got ten semolina pieces of ground bait left, and then our first and third rod, of course, are using the high quality normal bream variant that we've used and then probably what will happen is that's another nice one probably what will happen is next episode if we can still find the bream we will try using pearl barley in our bream ground bait mixture to see uh, as a base sorry and uh, to see if that works as well it should, since that's a normal part of the bream ground bait. Let's see if we do have any alcohol left. Yeah, we've got one piece left. It might be at the point where we start to do a little bit of well, if the ingredients are available, I don't know that they are. If the ingredients are available to make mold wine, coffee and tea, it might be time to start doing that. Show you a little bit of cooking here early in the game. I'll try to remember to look at doing that next episode as well. So yes, it has turned into a really nice spot uh, now that it's gotten a little later in the evening, morning. Call it with some coffee in my mouth there. Hopefully we can keep this up a little longer, a couple more in-game hours at least. I'm getting a high percentage of markers here. I almost don't mind catching roach when they're over a kilo like that. Common roach really are liking those. Uh, let's look at USA common roach. Now this will be across different maps and probably none of them will be here, but I'm just curious like the 
popular roach baits right now. Oatmeal, pearl barley, a lot of times night crawlers will be on this list, and mayfly larva, Ladoga and tuba. Huh. Let's switch this off to another of our really high quality bream variant. Try to milk the most we can out of this. So we're no longer using semolina. Oh, that, that bell got um, bugged a little bit there. No longer using simile. That's a roach again. For as nice as a bream spot this has been. Uh oh. Server is freaking out. For as nice as a bream spot this has been. It also is pretty roachy. Which I am not used to that. I've not seen too many great bream spots that have had, uh, had this much roach activity. Although it does happen occasionally. And I also would tell you that at this low level... It's really fine. It's, it's, you just want to be catching fish. And if you can successfully target some good fish and, and then just sort of catching some other fish as you go, that's a pretty okay scenario. Look how much roach we're catching all of a sudden though. All right, we're gonna really burn through this 10 out of 10 stack quick if we've got multiple lines on it, but that's okay. We have slowly but surely turned our rods more and more towards our spot instead of at an angle. Hey, there's a decent fish. Well, let me get a handle on this. I'm not sure. It could be a bream. It just felt a little weird. That is a bream. Maybe it had been on the line a little bit, but it didn't sort of have that initial feel of a bream. Whoa. So it's five, five, between 5.30 and 6 a.m. right now, overcast, 9 degrees Celsius. And we've had a good run here recently of some nice fish. This appears to be another really nice bream. And you sort of slowly see that... Um, slowly see that we've got all three on the same stack. This stack's going to go fast. Uh, you slowly see that XP bar is moving, but that's not really what we care about. What's nice about what we're doing right now is our silver, the money we're making. This is where Bream shine. We are potentially making some decent silver uh, for this low level. And... I focus much more on that, I, you know, the levels will come, whether you're premium or free to play or not. The question is, can you afford the gear you need to, to progress and move up in the, in the lakes and rivers? Okay, so we've had a couple smaller ones here in a row, just after 6 a.m. Hopefully that's not a um, a sign of things to come. We w we would love to get a couple of two or two two and a half at least two and a half more hours of, of good bream fishing in game hours. There we go. This might be a real good one. So let's uh, try to stop him. We don't want to get spooled, but we don't want to lose him either. All right, there we go.
Yes. All right, now, if we can stop him, we'll stop. We, we won't reel for a minute and see if we can't. Because if it's a bream, the clock is working against him. The key here is just stopping him. But right now it feels like the clock is working against me. Look at that burn on the on the reel. Honestly, I'm starting to think this is not a bream at all. But I don't know that for sure. Because of the size of our leader, it is possible that just a really big trophy bream could do this to us. But I think it's also possible that a common carp or a grass carp or something decided it liked garlic dough. Let's see if we can just reel really fast here. Sometimes you get the fish's momentum moving towards you. Now, I'm not sure if we may have a situation where the fish has gone behind that island. And if that's the case, we will never get this fish, right? I guess if we could get it worn out, we're almost out of line. But if we could get it worn out, maybe we... Maybe we can start dragging it out back from... All right, we just got to take a chance here. I'll just let it snap. I'm not going to... I'm not going to alt F4. Ooh! We broke our reel. Okay. We most certainly did. Wow. Okay, hold on. Let me look at something. I guess we are cutting it pretty close. 5 and 5.5? I don't know. These Lacertes are not the highest quality reels. I have not seen that happen, though. Well, this silver we're making, I guess we know what we're going to have to spend it on. And that's why... <laughs> uh, that's why I just use Alt F4. Once it gets beyond the pale of saving, just use Alt F4. I think we just pushed that Lacerti a little too far in trying to stop that, stop that fish. Wow, I was not expecting that. I think of all the accounts I've played, I think I did break a reel on my first account, so my main account, back before I really knew what I was doing, um, sort of early, when I didn't even know how to set up a rig properly. All the other accounts I've played, I think that is the first reel I have broken Uh, in all that time. I really do. Wow. I'm still a little bit in shock here. In fact, it's been, uh, it's been so long, I don't... I'm pretty sure if the real mechanism is broken... Oh, we can repair that, actually. Okay, that's interesting. I think we can repair that. Well, let's... Um, I hate to leave right now. I've gotten 50 fish in a pretty short amount of time. And a decent amount of them are markers. So we could get this repaired, and then we should be able to use it again. I guess the thing that's just a little weird is normally you want your leader to be weaker than your line. And I'm wondering if that's where we've gotten in trouble here. But our line is still weaker than our reel. 
So I think it may have to do more with the quality of the Lacerti for that happening. More that's the reason than uh, the big leader. But I don't know. I, I really don't know. It's awkward. It's weird. I'm a little embarrassed that it happened, but there you have it. Well, let's see if we can um, break something else, maybe. Goodness. Put myself in the penalty box here. Forcing myself to use telesticks <laughs> to have a third rod going. I don't know what uh, what we'll get in this spot, but okay. So now we're getting into the common roaches, smaller common roaches too. got to really hope that oh it's a bream that's weird you really got to hope that you don't with these maggots you know I'm certainly taking a chance a little bit really could snap something else here um, it's probably not the smartest bait to use with the potential of getting some sort of carp on there but I'm feeling a little reckless after that last incident feeling a little reckless The hardest part of the whole thing, I don't mind occasionally losing losing gear or losing line and leader or, or feeders and normally I would alt F4 before, you know, before it all happened when it got to that point, but the hardest part for me is not knowing what that fish was. Not knowing if it was a trophy bream or if just something else random decided that garlic dough was gonna be tasty. So we just have to sort of suffer through this. What will be good is once we can get that 7.5 reel and then we can put a more natural 6.4 or whatever leader on there and then we'll be just in a better spot against any number of, of things. And, and in fact, that 7.5, you can start to experience some things at Cory even um, with the 7.5 reels. So. That being, that's definitely our target for one, if not all of our feeder rigs moving forward. All right. And I believe the 7.5 reels, according to which one you go with, is going to run you a little less than 300 silver, maybe, if, according to where you purchase it, I guess. Yeah, look at this. Four in a row. Four undersized bream in a row. So it's 10.35 a.m. It's about right. We'll see. We'll give it another fish or two, and then we'll go put our poor Lacerti in the workshop. Goodness. May even travel to Mosquito to uh, get it done. I don't know. We'll see.
Yeah, that's another small one. But the good thing is, this is uh, this is Old Berg. There are plenty of options to fish during the day. So, you know, fish this spot between 16, 1700 to about 10 a.m. And then go catch a few tench or just, you know, a bunch of crucian gibbles and roaches and stuff, whatever you want to do. But this seems like a really good bream spot to me so far. We'll do some more testing, but... There's a crucian, or yeah. Well, let's go see if I'm right about the option of uh, of repairing that poor Lacerti. Um, let's disassemble it. So we kept our bells, but everything else is gone. was really something, wasn't it? Okay, where is the workshop at, uh, oh, here it is. It's only 31 silver. It will take 15 hours to do it. It's better than buying another Lacerti. Um, which is what? Just under 100 silver, according to where you get it. Yeah, 103 here. So let's look, see the... Um, 7.5 is sort of the next threshold. The cheapest one of those is an Adriatica. It's out of stock here. Uh, I think they do have them at either Mosquito or Winding. Well, I think they're somewhere, but I'm not 100% on that. But I think it'll be, end up being around 300 silver according to where we buy it, maybe 315 or something. But that would be the next. The other option, I guess, would be the Fishing Pride, right? Or a Sputnik Pro 6.5, higher quality reel, 4,000, and it's a little bit more expensive. So I don't know. The Proton Pro is probably a little more desirable. Five. There's just a lot more options these days. The Fishing Pride is the other one. This is more. This is like sort of the more expensive 7.5 option. I just don't know why, other than stock issue. Let's see, it's a 6,000 size. This is also a 6,000 size. I mean, it may be better than the Adriatic. I just don't know that it's enough better to justify. All right, so we'll go ahead and repair this. Goodness. Well, actually, we got to turn our, we got to sell some fish to be able to afford to repair it. Let's see if we got any lucky Bream Cafe orders. Nope. Oh, yep. That is beautiful. All right. So always sell your smallest ones that qualify. So it looks like 1.3. Yeah. So that's 28 silver just for those three Bream. That's great. And obviously we're not going to have anything else. Let's see how we did on just everything else. 85 more silver. So over 100 silver with the cafe order. Puts us at 137 silver. And so, yeah, we got to spend some to repair that Lacerti. But obviously it's worth it so that we can keep going. We also are going to have to deal with... Um, getting some kind of leader, which I think I'm gonna to have to travel somewhere else to do that. So I'll probably do that off the video. I think all the leaders for whatever reason are just out of stock here. 6.4 obviously is not gonna work. So we'll have to do that off video. Um, so we still have a hundred silver. 
and we're getting to that. We want to get to that 300 plus range silver so we can upgrade our first reel. And the exciting part is we already have this rod, which will easily translate to the Patriotica or Fishing Pride or whatever we end up getting. As it has low capacity of 14.5. And honestly, the Asterias can do it in a pinch. It's not super comfortable, but you could make it work. You could make it work. I don't think, and I, I don't know, we'll see, because there's, again, there's so many more options now. But on my main account back in the day, and even my first alt account, I think I jumped from Adriatica all the way to Fortuna Feeders, which is a big jump. Um, I have seen people using Palmers. That goes up to 13. These are some of the new ones. Go up to 14.5. That's pretty nice. Sort of a, it's another option, I would say. Percy feeders, 16.5. And then the Fortuna feeders all the way up to 18. So, I don't know. I think there's options now. Good options. And maybe an opportunity to have different rods, not have the same all the same rods. So we'll see. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. This has been a interesting uh, interesting episode, at least for me. I will see you next time. Thanks again.